Like someone is just following you everywhere. That is not shot by me. The, the, the big square, I think. It has this Hollywood sign. Animals have suffered because of us. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Andrea, London-based fashion photographer and in this video I'm going to talk to you about uh, my recent trip to Romania. You could also uh, you could also find me on Instagram. I'm here. <laughs> I'll put it here. Uh, and uh, yeah, you can find me on Instagram and if you haven't subscribed yet, uh, please do so if you would like to see more videos um, uh, from me and if you like what I'm doing. Um, so yeah, hit that subscribe button. <laughs> For those of you who don't know me and uh, um, are new to the channel, or yeah, just uh, are completely new to my to my whole world and photography, I'm uh, I'm actually from Romania. So I lived there um, most of my life um, until I turned 18 and decided to come here um, to study at university. I talk more about uh, my journey uh, into photography and my journey to London in the video that I've done about, about, uh, about that. Uh, so I can link it in the description below so you can find out more details. Um, but yeah, I, um, I'm from Romania and this um, summer uh, and we decided to go to um, visit my family um, as I haven't seen them in two years because uh, I because of COVID uh, and everything you know <laughs> what happened in the last in the last uh, year and um, everything was complicated so we couldn't go and uh, but yeah we managed to go and I was really happy because I really needed that trip <laughs> for, a, for a long time now. I think it was the first trip after the pandemic, um, so yeah. But I, um, I filmed a lot and I shot a lot um, uh, there and because we did like a tour, so we visited a lot of cities and it was really cool. So I wanted to show you today how I shot uh, film in Romania. Uh, I shot on my Pentax P30T, uh, which again I talked about in another video when, uh, when I told you how I uh, found that camera. Um, and I shot on a 35mm film with uh, on a Kodak Portra 400. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to show you the photos and uh, everything and uh, talk to you about um, uh, a bit more about, about the trip. Uh, doing like a little trip, like a little tour uh, around Romania. So we landed in Cluj um, and there we stayed a couple of days. Then from Cluj we went to Sibi where, where we stayed a couple of days. Then we went to Sigishwara, then we went to Brasov and Sinaya and then to my hometown um, Galat. Um, so yeah, I, uh, and then uh, again uh, we went to Bucharest when we left because we took the flight back from Bucharest and we stayed there for two days as well and um, I filmed a bit there as well. I didn't have a lot of time in Bucharest but there are some shots that I took there with the film camera. We started off in Cluj, um, you'll see like behind, like you'll see uh, the videos uh, I filmed and you'll see all the all the photos but I just wanted to give you a bit of a background so you know. Um, so first kind of uh, photos that we took, I mean, it's, it's more like a chronological so I'll show you the photos in a chronological order so you understand that first off we start with Cluj, we had three days there, we walked around the city, ate really good food, a lot of fun and I took my Hentax P30 on the street with me and shot. The first leg of the journey is in Cluj.
I photographed the building. Buildings include like the architecture is beautiful, like kind of like a church, uh, which again looked very like like grand and like I don't know, just the style of it was really cool. And I found this like little book stall uh, kind of uh, hidden uh, which I really like because I'm obsessed with books so I had to take a picture there. <laughs> of course it involved a classic car as well which I found randomly walking and it was like in a courtyard somewhere so I went quickly and I uh, snapped the photo because I couldn't help it. Also uh, so we were like actually there were two classic cars so there was one that I said I found it in a courtyard and then when I there was another one which was also in the courtyard but it was like hard to uh, get access to like sometimes so in Cluj they have like these houses and they have like a nally which leads into the courtyard but you could like go on the alley you know like from the street you go into the alley and you then you have the courtyard so it's like accessible but then you have this uh, other car which was in an actual courtyard and it had like a fence and everything so I had to shoot through the fence but I saw it like we were walking it was raining and then I saw the the, the little car, the, I also saw the car there and I was like, oh, I need, to take a, I need to take a photo. So I didn't know how it would look like because it was quite far from me and, and also like it was through the fence. But, but I think the photo turned out great and it has a lot of personality. So I so said this was Cluj. Then when we, uh, we continued our journey to Sibiu, which is like a distance of like two hours. Part of the journey was Sibiu. Uh, in Sibiu, again, it's a similar city to Cluj. I used to go there when I was little a lot to Sibiu because it's, it's really beautiful. It has the really beautiful houses again, colorful houses, and it has these um, particular aspects to it, like it has these eyes uh, that you can see in the building. So they're like small windows that look like eyes and you can see them in all of the buildings. You've seen uh, some of the photos, like these eyes. And it's, it's, it's weird, you know, it's, it's like someone is just following you everywhere, but it's just the architecture was like that. So let's see uh, some uh, behind the scenes of uh, and the shots I took in CB. This photo in uh, in Sibiu, I don't have a video of when I took it. I like I was on uh, the Bridge of Lies, that's what they call it. Apparently, the women take the men there on the Bridge of Lies, ask him questions, and then if the man lies, um, like then he can't like hide the truth or something like that. It's a legend. Um, it's cool though. It's a cool bridge. And then um, I filmed a bit, like you could see the from the bridge you could see like the, the blue kind of building with the eyes as well so I was on that bridge when I filmed that and then on the right side where you could see like a yellow building at some point on the right side there was this man so I'm gonna show you the photo here so there was this man there um, he looked cool and I thought that I thought I would take a shot so I, uh, I quickly took the shot he wasn't looking at me so sometimes when people look at me and I take the shot I get a bit like mm, weird Another shot where I don't have a video of is this, where it's like the, the big square, I think it's called, big square, something like that. The big square of the CBU, so it's like the center part of the CBU, so you have these cool buildings in, in the square, like have these like colors, like different colors, and then this is where I took the photos, and it's a lot of pigeons there as well, so yeah, it's the main part of, of CBU. You can see the Romanian flag as well. This shot, which I'll show here, wasn't actually taken by me. It was taken by my boyfriend. <laughs> so yeah, he uh, he actually wanted to, to take the photo and um, I let him. Um, and I was like explaining him like what set things to put to the camera and everything and be careful like with like explaining him that how to shoot on film. And uh, he, because he had this vision and he saw this man on the bicycle and woman and then he, he took the photo and <laughs> shared it because it's, it's a beautiful photo and uh, I think he did a great job, so <laughs> I'm proud of him. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that is not shot by me, <laughs> shot by my boyfriend. This photo here, which is one of my favorites by far, I don't know, because I like 
caravans lately and I think I'm, like, I'm obsessed a bit with this sort of like, I don't know, this, the, the caravan and then there's like nothing there and it just looks really cool. Photo, I took randomly our accommodation so he was just behind our flat where we stayed in Sibiu behind like at the back it was this like parking area somewhere and this caravan was there so I just went out the window snapped the photo it was raining that day and I was happy with it I was like yes it's a caravan I need to take a photo of the caravan but I'm obsessed with it I'm legit obsessed <laughs> um, so yeah <laughs> One of my favorite photos you could see is the caravan. That was Sibiu. Um, again, like we stayed like three days in Cluj, three days in Sibiu. We didn't have a lot of time to shoot loads um, because I was also spending time with my family and like I didn't want to like just shoot the whole time. The next city that we visited was Sigishwara, which is a medieval city. It's a really cool city, but. Uh, <laughs> The thing was, I didn't get to shoot anything there. I actually had shot, not on the film, but I shot digital, so I'll talk more about it in another video that I'll do a part two of this travel vlog, in which I will show you how I shoot digital and with the Polaroid. But with on the film, I didn't have time because basically that day I was not feeling well at all. So I stayed in the room for the whole time. We only stayed one night there. So I stayed in the room the whole day and the whole night. And only the next day when we left, I got to like visit a bit of the city. I've been there when I was little a couple of times. I really like it. It's, it's really cool again. It's a medieval city because I wasn't feeling well. I didn't have time to shoot much. So I'm not gonna spend the time on that. I'm just gonna tell you like, just that was another part of our journey, but I didn't get to document it as much as I wanted. Next on our Romanian tour is Brasov. So you have Cluj here, then Sibiu is like here, then like we went to like Sigishwara which is here and Brasov here. So like between Sigishwara and Brasov is like an hour. So it, it's quite close. Brasov is another city that is popular in terms of visiting because it has this Hollywood sign like says Brasov uh, on top of a mountain so it's quite cool but not just because of that it's a, it's a really nice city again when I was um, young I used to go there with my family a lot I used to go on school trips there as well it's just it's a city and it's in the mountains you have good food uh, it's a lot of like nice stuff to do there it's quite cool it's close to like the oldest um, mountain like resort in Romania which is Poiana Brasov so it's like 20 kilometers from Brasov to Poiana Brasov like literally you go up the, in the, through the mountain so that's the oldest resort mountain resort so a lot of people go there definitely recommend the visiting good beer good uh, food the good people I took uh, two photos in the main square of the of Brasov of this uh, old man uh, in a cool like hat and outfit they are a bit blurred because i was like very quick um, so yeah i'll show you here um he was really cool and i really like those photos so again you can see similar buildings as in Sibiu and Cluj similar like architecture similar colors like different it, it was really cool. we stayed quite in the center of, of the city so we within walking distance of the main square so we just walked around there a lot we stayed there two nights in this photo you see he was looking at me he saw that uh, i was taking a picture so i was pretending to take pictures of the buildings and kind of like moving the camera a little bit to catch him and the photo i took also it was another old man also blurred because I was very quick and he was also in the main square and he was walking. But I think it's cool, he has personality. Uh, what can I say? I like shooting <laughs> old men dressed in cool outfits, cool coats, hats. I think I got this into this habit when shooting street photography. Another shot uh, that I took in Brasov was of this uh, old lady that I really like. Uh, I saw her on the street and she was selling flowers. So I went to her and I went to buy, I bought some flowers. Then I asked her if I could take a photo. So I think that was um, um, it's one of my favorite photos as well uh, because I don't usually ask people if I could take a photo, like, you know, when I shoot street photography. The next stop was Sinaya and Sinaya is um, we stayed only one day uh, one night I took a lot of photos there because I found a lot of cool interesting things but, so in Sinaya we went to first visit the Pelish castle and Pelish castle was built in uh, was built by a King Karol I in the 19th century uh, he built it as a summer residence and that's why like the mountain resort also like became no one because 
King Karol I decided to be the, the, the palace castle. The architecture is amazing, it's beautiful. It was modern in the sense that it was the first European castle to have um, electricity. But you could see like the photos and the videos I took. Then I took a photo of this uh, uh, couple that was dressed up for people to take photos. They um, portrayed uh, King Ferdinand and uh, Queen Mary of Romania. King Ferdinand was the successor of King Karol I and Queen Mary was his wife. And Queen Mary of Romania, she was British actually, she was part of the British royal family. She married with, Queen, uh, with the King Ferdinand and she was uh, this person was dressed in a nurse to portray Queen Mary of Romania because she, uh, during the First World War, she was visiting hospitals a lot and she was uh, talking to patients and helping them, so she, she helped a lot. She, and people loved her a lot. They say she was the queen of the people because uh, Romania, pe Romanian people uh, loved her a lot and still love her to this day. There's lots of documentaries and loads of books about her, movies, everything, because she was really uh, appreciated. Just giving you a, big, a bit of background into that. So I took these photos, he uh, walked around and uh, I took photos of the buildings that you could see because these buildings, uh, some of them are like a hundred years old. So you could see like I took some videos and um, photos of buildings of, of old like hotels and also like uh, houses um, that um, were very very old and who knows who lived there it's really it would really be interesting to find out exactly who lived there and the story of the house until i found out more i'll just leave you with the photos and the videos i took photo which I think it uh, sim symbolizes a, a problem that exists in in Romania not only in Romania you know deforestation I think it just symbolizes that a lot uh, there you have such a beautiful view you have these beautiful mountains and then of course you have a construction going on and they're building a more of like a 
like a hotel or like a block of flats but with like pool and everything don't know exactly like a residential area but um, yeah it just goes to show you know like when the hum when the people when human humans touch the nature you know and like the humans touching the nature and you can see that and i think this photo is i like it because it symbolizes a lot and there's a huge problem with deforestation in romania i'm not going to go into that because there's a lot going on and so on and so forth and politics and everything so i'm not going to go into that but i just want to show you this picture because as, I, as we were walking through the mountains and through like the road into the mountains you i found this so i wanted to take a picture there then I took photos of the cable car, which is very old, uh, but really cool. It goes up to like 2,000 meters high, um, and where you could see like the panoramic views from there are insane. It's really cool, but I'm scared of heights, so um, <laughs> I've been a couple of times and I didn't want to go this time. I was like, no, I don't want to go now. Uh, but yeah, I, I like these photos a lot. I took two photos, but uh, I like them so much. So another photo of that was important to me was this bear cage that I found into the forest. Uh, well, it was at it was the road, and then it was the forest. So it was like right there at the at the road, and I think it's a very again it symbolizes how you know we went into the forest and we like cut trees and then like bears don't have food anymore so they have to come down and look for food and that's why these cages exist because they are a danger to us because we went and destroyed their habitat in the first place and it's sad i uh, just wanted to take a shot just to show you like the reality you know and i think it's a it's again it's, a, it's an interesting shot and sad at the same time because this happened, animals have to suffer because of us and it's, it's sad. So after that we went to Gala and we stayed there for a bit and then in Bucharest two days before we uh, took our flight back to London and in Bucharest I took a couple of shots but it's mainly of cars uh, that I found on the street and there's this cool car, a uh, red car um, which is a Romanian car, Taci. Not a lot because in Bucharest I want to spend time more with my family and with my friends so um, yeah I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching make sure to like comment and subscribe because it will help me a lot if you want to support me and if you like my videos and want to see more of them please subscribe it will help me massively um i'll see you next time with the next video and uh, let me know uh, any questions any comments if you like the video if you like the photos there's going to be uh, there's going to be a part two because i shot with the digital camera and with the polaroid as well so i'm gonna do a part two um coming soon um and yeah thank you so much bye bye